Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to get free games on Steam. My last video, I didn't think it'd be so controversial, but uh, it was how to get free games with trading cards on Steam. And I've had some legitimate concerns about that video. I showed you how to use a third party to go get some free games on Steam. And um, I got a couple legitimate concerns here where, uh, not going to lie, does it seem really trustworthy? And I don't know, right? So these pretty much say the same thing to me. And the not going to lie, doesn't seem trustworthy, uh, has seven thumbs up, which, you know, I thought this was worth addressing. And I totally understand, guys. I totally understand that, it's, you know, the Internet's a scary place for things, you know, especially if you don't understand what's going on, don't risk it. Um, I'm going to give you a couple other methods right now to get free games without even leaving Steam, and that should uh, solve any issues for those of you who are really worried. But I just wanted to say there are ways to find out if somebody's legitimate or not, guys. Um, there are things you can do to find out if, you know, it's if it's actually a risk or if the guy's legitimate. But uh, I won't get into that. Um, I'm going to give you a couple other quick ways you can do basically the same thing without involving a third party. You don't even have to leave the Steam screen. So basically you're going to do almost the same thing. You're going to come in here and find all the stuff you don't want. And you got two options. You can sell it for gems or you can sell it for money, right? So doesn't matter what you're selling. It could be cards that you don't need anymore. It could be um, backgrounds or emoticons or, or whatever, right? So I'm going to just take some random item here, like whatever that is. Um, yeah, they're pretty much all the same. Some are worth more than others. I was trying to. Okay, so it seems like the average is like three cents is the lowest it's going to go. So we'll say you have your items worth three cents or ten gems, right? So your option is you can turn this into gems or you could turn this into money. So if you're going to turn it into money, I would sell this thing on the market for three cents. Buyer pays three cents, which means you're getting a penny, right? You're getting one penny when this sells. So in this method, you're going to have to wait for these items to sell before you get the money to buy the game, but they will, and you'll get the money, and you can buy the game. So you would sell this for a penny. And through this method, um, if you're doing the not non-third-party method and you're not going to leave Steam, uh, that is the cheapest way to do it. That means uh, the cheapest game on Steam, uh, cheap games on Steam are $0.64. Cents. So you need to sell 64 items to buy one game. Um, through this method, right? On average, some items are worth more than others. You know, like, uh, I don't, I don't even know. I haven't really gone through here, but, um, some of them sell for more than others. So a lot of these seem to be three cent ones. There's a five cent one. Uh, there's a six cent one, but anyway, it de really depends on uh, what the skin is or the, um, so this one's $2 and 20 cents, but either way, you just go through here and sell all the crap you don't want, sell it for money. You're going to have to wait for them to sell on the market and for the money to come in and then you can go buy your games. The other way is to turn it into gems like we were doing before. And once you've got at least a thousand gems, you can pack them into a bag. So this is a sack of gems. There's a thousand in here. You need at least a thousand to um, to put them in a sack. So here we go. I got a thousand twenty six. I can click on that and I can go pack into a sack. And it goes in increments of a thousand. So I can put in a thousand. And there's my stack of a thousand gems. So I could sell this on the market for thirty nine cents. If I was to sell this on the market for say thirty eight cents, it will sell instantly. Because I dropped it a penny, it's going cheaper than market value. There are bots out there right now waiting to snap this up. So as soon as I put this up on the market, it will sell. I won't have to wait at all for this to sell. And that'll be $0.38, cents, which goes to show you you're going to have to do like at least 2,000 gems, two bags of 1,000 to get a game for free out of Steam, which means 200 items on average 
uh, if they're all 10 gem items, right? Uh, you would have to sell 200 or trade away 200 items for gems to get one free game, which is, you know, if you compare it to the money method, that's a lot of gems, but it's instant and you wouldn't have to wait days for the money to come in for you to buy the game. So there's two options, guys. It's two different methods. Both of them you can do without leaving Steam, and both of them are completely legitimate. You don't have to worry about uh, logging into a third party or not trusting anything. There you go. <laughs> for those of you who don't who don't trust the sketchiness, there it is. I don't have any affiliations with NibQ. I've used them for a couple of years now and um, haven't had any problems. And before I used them, I did a bunch of research. And and um, believe me, he's been around for years. If he's been scamming people, you would hear about it. <laughs> It'd be hard to keep that quiet. Anyway, um, regardless, if you don't trust it, there's your other two methods. I just wanted to do address a couple other things here, guys. My comment section, it's kind of like, I know it's toxic going into the YouTube comment section, but like, man, some of this is so funny. Like, uh, how about just buy the fucking game and don't gamble? It's like, yeah, well, uh, the, the video is called how to get free games with trading cards on steam. Like I didn't, the video is not titled how to buy a game on steam, right? Like I'm not going to, I didn't make a video to show people how to buy a game. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, but Hey, go buy the game if you want. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and, um, uh, free lease says, I don't think it's a viable considering that you spent roughly 20 minutes to convert items into gems. Uh, I think ma many games not really worth it anyway, considering that you didn't care for the game yourself. Uh, the time invested in my opinion, uh, is not worth it. Neat trick though. Right. It's a little passive aggressive there. I mean, sure, it's the compliment sandwich, but uh, yeah, the thing is, I think we look at this fundamentally different, Freelies. Um, I grew up in a different time, I think. I think that's probably what it comes down to. I, I was born in the 70s, later 70s. I grew up through the 80s and early 90s. And my concept of what a video game is and what, what makes a good video game it's a lot different than most people's concepts of video games. I spent most of my life in like arcades where you would walk up to a cabinet and plug in a quarter. And if you were still playing in five minutes, you were doing good, right? If you're still playing that same game in five minutes, you were doing good. Um, yeah, I dumped countless quarters into countless different games we go into arcades with like 200 machines and you just wanted to play them all. And I grew up living really near to an arcade and I did play them all. Right. Uh, when, when a new game came into the arcade, it was huge. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter what it was. It was huge. And there's lineups and you had to wait and you finally got to play it. It's, it was a different world. It was a different world, man. I would pay, pay 50 cents for a game. Yeah pay 50 cents for a game and play it for like five or 10 minutes. Maybe, maybe depends on the game, right? Like if it was street fighter, you better be good or you're not playing it for more than a couple of seconds. Anyway. Uh, so it's just a, a, the concept of what makes a good game or what's worth it. I mean, it's probably different for you than it is for me, man. Uh, it's dumping 64 cents into a game what you would call a crap game. These are the cheapest games you can get on steam or 64 cents. And you would call it a, a crappy game or not worth it or, or not a good game or whatever. I would spend at least that on some stand up arcade game. That wasn't even a third or, or even a 10th as good as these quote unquote crap games, dude. I remember like, <laughs> man, you would pay money to play Tetris. You would pay money to play Pac-Man, man. And you would because that's it was fun. It's a game. It's a video game. And it was, I don't know, just a different world I grew up in, man. And now here on Steam, I can pay pretty much that same amount of money. If you count for inflation, that $0.64 cents is probably the equivalent to $0.25 cents when I was growing up. Maybe even fucking less, right? And I get to keep the game 
not just play it one time for a couple minutes if I'm good at it, you know, or if I could, you can't figure it out, then you'll get to play it. Really? Right. Got to, got to spend more on it. No, man. Uh, you, the, the concept of what is a crap game or what people are willing to pay for or what is worth it or not worth it. I mean, it's different from person to person. It's definitely different from me than it is for you. I played these games, man. I do. I, I play them. Um, and didn't care for the game myself. I, I care for all my games. I mean, every, I play them all. I, I not, I'm not buying games to not play them. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to address that. I grew up in a different time. My concept of what's good and what's not and what's playable and what I enjoy is probably a lot different than yours. So just keep that in mind, right? And the last guy I wanted to address is uh, it's almost like feeding the trolls. And I don't want to get too much into this, but we'll just take the beginning of the exchange here. His first comment to me, but like, what's the point? Except you drag your ego about having lots of games in a library. You're going to get some trash games. Already addressed that. You, you wouldn't play anyway. Already addressed that. Uh, then he goes on to using up card bots and stuff like that. And he doesn't really understand the concept of how this works. You could tell by uh, the stuff that he's saying in here. But uh, anyway, the uh, the main point I wanted to address is um, I have some kind of ego because I have lots of games in my library. I'm not sure if you guys know much about um, game collecting, game collectors, but um, 1,300 games is nothing. It's literally nothing. That's barely even entry level for a game collector. Uh, you really can't even call yourself a collector of games unless you have somewhere, you know, close to a thousand or something like that. It's not worth bragging about. Dude, I've been playing games most of my life. Like, like That's actually pretty low, <laughs> right? It's only lately that I've been actually seriously collecting games. So... And like in the last couple of years of my life that I've seriously been collecting games before that, you go back to my older videos, you can see I didn't have that many and I still don't have that many. It's not a lot, man. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think that comment says a lot more about him than it does about anybody else is um, it's a little bit of projection there that like he thinks that I would be using the number of games I have in my library as like, I'm better than you or like it's a stroke my ego or something like that. So while I was reading this, I couldn't help but thinking when I was growing up, I had uh, my grandma right before she passed, she collected spoons. She had a bunch of racks on the wall. She had, I don't know how many, but she She'd probably tell you if she's still alive, she'd give you the number. But she had a bunch of spoons on racks on the wall, right? And when you wanted to know what to get grandma for Christmas or for her birthday, you knew what to get her, right? You get her a spoon. It didn't matter if she already had it. No, no, it didn't matter, right? Um, didn't matter what it was either, even if it was something she didn't understand or know about. Um, just spoons. She collected spoons, right? And I would go over to my grandma's house. Hey, grandma, how's it going? Oh, good. I'm just checking. I'm just uh, da 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 with my spoons, right? Oh, do you get any new spoons lately? Yeah, oh, well, yeah. And she'll come over and, and bring you over to the racks, and she'll show you all her spoons and which ones she's got recently and who gave them to her or where she got them from or how good of a sale or a deal she got on it from what store and stuff like that. And you see her eyes light up and the excitement in her eyes and the happiness. And... The last thing, <laughs> the absolute last thing that would go through my mind is, Grandma, quit stroking your ego. <laughs> really, really. The last thing that would go through my mind is, Grandma thinks she's better than me because she's got more spoons than I do. <laughs> really. And so I think that says a lot more about this guy than it says about you or me or my grandma or anything. Um... Yeah, I think he probably hasn't found something like that in his life. And uh, he just doesn't understand, you know, or um, I I really don't know. I really don't know what to say about that. Um, maybe if, if he had something that he thought was impressive 
he would hold it above other people and think he was better than them because he had more video games than them or something. I don't know. I don't really know what he's trying to say there, but it's obvious that he thinks that I have an ego because of my video game collection, and I don't. <laughs> it's not even that big of a collection. You can see right there, 1356, it's literally, like barely starting to collect. I think the first badge is at like 1,000, so I mean... That's, that's almost nothing. If you go look at people's video games collections, they have thousands and thousands of video games. There's guys out there with video game collections bigger than I thought there was video games, man. Like, I, see, I saw a guy the other day, he had like 20,000 video games in his collection. How? How? But whatever. Does he, does he think he's better than me because he's got more video games? Probably not. Probably not. Why would I think that, right? He probably just really likes video games, right? Anyway, I just, I thought I'd address that. I, there's no egos here, guys. If, if I was an egomaniac guy, I wouldn't tell you how to get free games. I wouldn't want other people to have free games and more games on their account too. So, that, so they might get a higher level than me. Oh no, I can't have that. Dude, no, the point of the video was to show you guys how to get free games on Steam. All right. My grandma doesn't think she's better than you because she has more spoons than you. Okay. <laughs> See you guys.